I suppose you all know to me one of the most important uh, new um, facts about dreams is that they are a biologic necessity. Uh, see, they have made experiments of waking people up uh, whenever they start to dream. They can tell by the uh, rapid eye movements and also by the brain waves. The brain waves of dreams are very much like the brain waves of people when they're awake. And if they uh, keep interfering with the um, REM sleep, that is the dream sleep, uh, very soon the subject will show all the symptoms of sleeplessness, no matter how much a dreamless sleep they're allowed. And eventually it would be fatal. So we know now that dreams are a biologic necessity, which means that they must serve a very important function. I've found that sometimes I'm able to control a dream and sometimes I'm able to um, direct myself before, um, before going to sleep to dream about a certain subject and uh, sometimes not. There's a famous story about uh, a man who solves an equation in a dream, I believe. Uh, he saw the equation had been bothering him, and all of a sudden it joined in a certain way. And uh, so I think that this is an uh, experience that happens quite often. The idea that dreams are completely illogical, of course, is not true at all. I have gotten uh, from dreams perfectly coherent uh, narrative stories. No one would know it was a dream. Um, sometimes I get a whole chapter that way which I've, uh, in fact, read. I, I pick, a, pick up a book in a dream and read it. And then I'm able sometimes to transcribe that uh, later when I'm awake. Well, you, you have both, uh, both words and images, of course, in, in most dreams. Uh, it's, it's comparable to a film. And also, people, uh, I myself, and I suppose everybody, uh, frequently dreams about films that they've seen. Sometimes, of course, you'll have, uh, have more of a preponderance of words and sometimes a preponderance of images. <laughs>